Hey folks, this is Sauce Boss Phil from Alabama Hot Sauce. That's alabamahotsauce.com on the web. Today I'm over at my pack and chip operation and I'm packing an order for my new best friend, Chris Campbell, over at the Talking Tacos podcast. And these guys were nice enough to order some sauces from me and I've looked at their channel. I gotta tell you, their channel is absolutely amazing. I think everybody ought to go to it. And what I like best is that they specialize in one of the four major Southern food groups. Now, for those of you that don't know, the major Southern food groups are fruits, vegetables, and collard greens, barbecue, iced tea, and tacos. And the Talking Tacos podcast guys specialize in tacos. So to here today, I'm packing them up a little, uh, a few sauces they ordered, and I'm gonna plus it up a little bit for them because I think they're good guys. First, they ordered the absolutely amazing Scorpions and Ghosts. So I am wrapping this baby up. Now they also ordered Alabama Green. Alabama Green is a great sauce, especially for Mexican food and tacos. So we're going to put them a bottle of Alabama Green in here and seal this baby up. And in addition, I'm going to throw them in a bottle of Crazy Cayenne. Everybody that eats Mexican food or tacos should have Crazy Cayenne. And just in case they need it, I'm gonna throw in a bottle of Jay's Peach Ghost Pepper Pure Pepper Dust. This stuff is a tonic, it's on fire, and they might need it on their tacos, okay? Now, I also anticipate that it's very possible that these guys might get their hands on occasionally some hot sauce that Tastes pretty good, but just isn't hot enough for them. So I'm including a bottle of my brand new 3 million Scoville unit pepper concentrate. So, guys, if you got a sauce over there at Talking Tacos that you like but isn't quite hot enough, just take the little dropper out and put a drop or two in this, and I promise you, It'll convert that hot sauce from a yeah hot sauce to a super hot one. So I'm putting this in there. Now, we're gonna get this stuff ready, stick a label on it, and send it over to the boys. Now I think y'all might notice that at Alabama Hot Sauce, I believe in doing things as economical as possible. So I take post office padded bags and put everything in it then I put them in more post office padded bags and then I put them in more post office padded bags and in the end we got a nice safe package and in all the orders I've shipped thousands of them using this method I never had one break so we're sealing up the bag for the boys and let's get their shipping label on it now, these fellows, I said they were my newest best friends. I chatted back and forth last night before he ordered. There's a couple of things I liked about him. First, I loved his videos. I watched some of his uh, podcasts. I thought it was absolutely great. The second thing was, even though I think he does some hot sauce reviews, and by the way, I'm not sending him this to get a review. I'm sending him this because I like him and he ordered it. But he actually bought the hot sauce. A whole lot of people that run channels will try to get uh, manufacturers to send them stuff for free. I don't like doing that because number one, I think it's a little bit like buying a review and I don't want to buy reviews. But these guys, my buddy Campbell was very straight up. He just flat out ordered it. So I'm plussing up his order a little bit. He didn't ask me to but I'm doing it just for him. And by golly, I hope those guys enjoy Scorpions and Ghosts because I'm telling you, 
scorpions and ghost hot sauce from Alabama hot sauce will light up a taco. So, we got our package all sealed up. And to my friends over at Talking Tacos, I'm going to tell you, you got a package on the way. Guys, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.